<laughs> you got it. Okay, so my talk today is learning how to get better balance. With balance comes ability is reducing your risk to fall, causing injuries, sometimes minor injuries such as a bruise, sometimes major injuries such as a broken bone. Okay? I want to start with three exercises to warm you up. I've done videos before. Let me move this out for you a little bit. No, I want to just stick it okay. it's on my chair. Thank you. Well, is allowing you to warm up my previous videos even before you get out of bed. If you're like some people, sometimes myself, lazy, I can actually warm up before you get to bed. Give you three things today to start so your body gets warmed up. Okay? I'll use a chair to start here for upper body. Talk about balance. Balance is not just your legs or your hips or your lower body. It's also upper body too. You talk about shoulders, upper back, and also shoulders and arms. Okay? What you want to do is before you get out of the chair, when you're still seated, is three things. You can use a wall if you want or a chair. And bring your arms if you can like this. As far as you can back. If you're here, that's fine too. You come here, in that position, what you want to do is bring your hands down, hold it for a second, and bring your arms back up. Okay? You want your elbows out if you can, because the goal of this is to get your range of motion of the shoulders moving more. Your, your balance comes from your neck, your middle back, low back, and hips for the most part, even your feet. So my arms as far out as possible, bring them down, hold them for a second, and back up. Okay, you want your elbows to stay stationary, so I want to bring my elbows at the level of my shoulder, bring that down, hold it for a second, and then bring it back up. Okay, again, down, hold it, back up. Okay, once you've done that about 10 times, even 5 if you want, wherever you want to start, that gets everything here warmed up in your shoulder and neck. Okay, yes? Is that good for arthritis? Because I'm going to be bad in that area. Arthritis is great for arthritis because frequent arthritis is it happens, occurs, and gets worse yeah. with a lack of motion. Okay. By moving more, our body helps reduce and prevent arthritis, but also arthritic pain. The problem is we can build arthritis throughout our lives. It's not an aging, it, it's a lack of motion thing. It won't hit us until we start moving where it hits our range of motion. That causes pain. Now you have arthritis. It happens overnight. You have to continue to move, this is my previous talk too. Your body can actually prevent arthritis from happening or prevent the result of symptoms of pain from arthritis. So we want to move more, always. So do you do that the same for saying we have to do that we have to get motion? You want a routine. Lower body, upper body, as a way to stretch every day. I'm a morning person. I want to get out of my way. I'll get that done. I went to the gym this morning at, I think, later at 6. Before I leave my house, I'll stretch my legs, my hips, my arms, my shoulders before I even leave the house to go work out. So my job is to make sure I keep myself loose. When I do work out and strength build, I don't hurt myself. These exercises will help not only loosen your joints, but also maintain your motion and balance. So if our body can stay healthy, that's the overall plan. Okay? But daily routine is the plan. Daily, daily, daily. Brian knows this. I always hit this. To where, because you're moving every day, your body has to adjust to that. If you wake up and don't stretch, don't work on your things, at that point your body can go to the bathroom and you can fall because your body's still asleep. You want to wake everything up. Enjoy motion when you move your joints. Those nerves fire from the joint to your brain your brain to your body again, so everything gets a little bit of a boost, a little bit of stimulant. It's like drinking a cup of coffee. Maybe not that much, but enough to <laughs> get your body moving more where you're awake. Okay? So what, step one again, we'll go here, we'll come down, keep your elbows stationary, come back up. Wherever you're comfortable, come down, come back up. Okay, second one is going to be here, a little bit easier, is keep your elbows tucked in, to your sides, I'll, I'll stand so you can see it too, bring it out, hold it for a second, and bring it back in. Good. So the elbow's tucked in though, and when your elbow's tucked in, when you first start, you mainly go here. That's fine. The biggest thing with this exercise, you want to make sure these shoulders back here contract, you feel that tension back there, and then you go back again forward. So I'm going to come, forward, I'm going to come here, if that tries to get a little bit sore, a little tight. I'm going to have you do is go back forward again. Okay? You want to move right over here? Yeah. Yeah. 
So again, we're going to come here, if you're standing or seated, that point, come out, hold it for a second, and then come back in. And again, you go against the wall even easier, come out, elbows tucked in, come back in. The goal is by elbow being tucked in, you're working just the shoulder, not the actual, not, not the actual, uh, just the muscle on its side. Good, exactly. You want to make sure you push that area back, so that area there turns, turns on, not turning off like the lights did a second ago. <laughs> I saw that. I, didn't that. Yeah, I, didn't I, that. that. I saw that direction. Yeah, I'm like, fuck, I thought I was passing out or something again. I don't know. I thought I was passing out myself. Okay? <laughs> there it goes. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Multidirectionary. So, after you've done, second one's going to be this again. Coming out of the internal rotation of the shoulder, making all of this wake up a little bit. Next one is more. Next one is going to be a little bit different. So you want the edge of a chair wherever you are. Or, or standing is fine. Standing is fine also if you want to stand. Okay? You stand if you want. Is you want to take your hands and bring them up here as far as you can. Wherever that might be. Okay? So you want to do is bring your hands down and come back up. But when you come up, I want you to focus on is the back of your neck. You want to pinch those shoulder blades together. Okay? So, Brian, do you mind coming up here for a second? I just want to show people that. Seated or standing, what I'm going to have you do is grab your hands here, come up in front of you. When you come up, pinch the blades together in that area. So, scoot right in the middle on the tape. That is like our professional tape or something. When you do cut, bring your arms down. When you come up, all I want you to do is bend your elbows a little bit. And come up and pinch that right there. See all those big muscles in the back right there? So make sure you pinch those blades together when you come up. So you gotta bend your elbows into that. A little bit, a little bit of the bend of the elbow. That point by doing that and getting those muscles to work and contract a little bit allows your body to wake up and get your balance comes from your neck. It's not just lower body. That point your body when you're moving, that balance becomes easier for you. Am I being around because I'm feeling the pain that's in the tightness? Is that right? No, that's okay. That's okay. You want to feel the tightness. Oh, okay. Tightness is good because you want these muscles to fire, uh -huh. to cause pressure on the spine, to make those nerves work and you can stimulate the nerves. Uh -huh. You want to feel some tension on them. Right. Okay, not pain, but tension yeah. when you come up yeah. to make your overall body work. So, Brian, come up one more time. When you come up here, pinch the blades together, good pinch, mm -hmm. and then relax. That's does that feel okay? Oh, yeah. Do you feel it just back here also yeah. here? Oh, everywhere in there. Perfect. You want to wake everything up a little bit. Okay? Thank you, Brian. You're welcome. All right, Brian. Good job. You're next. Exactly. What? Yeah, you're next. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Stand <laughs> here. Uh, she seems like, I'm coming. Yeah. <laughs> Not uh, standing straight for me. Or, so grab a seat first. Oh, grab a seat? Mm -hmm. Oh. Am I supposed to sit? Yes. Oh. We'll do it seated first. Okay. Okay. Um, what do you do in that exercise where your hands come in front, you bend forward a little bit, and bring your shoulders up, pinch your shoulders and your neck together, uh -huh. shoulders in the air, make, make that shoulders in the air touch each other if you can, then bring it down. There you go. Good. Up, pinch it, and then come down. Okay. By doing that, it gets, again, these areas to stimulate those muscles and nerves uh -huh. to wake everything up a little bit. Hold it for about two seconds, zero, one, two, and relax. When you do this, the biggest thing you want to focus on is keeping your head still with good posture. So your body stays back here. It doesn't do this. It stays back here the whole time. Okay, this, bad. This, good. How'd they tell you? Oh, that's wonderful. Go ahead. Good night. Good. Hold up, up, pinch, hold, and relax. Seems like a long time, right? No. Hold, and relax. Good. Does that feel okay? Yeah. Okay, stand up. Let's try it standing, too. If you do it standing, focus on keeping the head back a little bit good. Because when you work out, if you work out in bad posture, we're just going to reinforce bad posture. Okay, I want to work out in good posture. Even if you have limited range of motion, to make sure your body stays back here. Because when you're back here, as you're doing, what's your name again? Janice. Janice? I'm what's Tony. your name? Tony. Oh, you're Dr. Tony. That's what they call her. <laughs> 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 
Very good, Candice. So when we work out with that posture, we reinforce this. I want you to, so when you're standing up, put your shoulders up again, keep them back here. There we go. How's that feel? Feels good. good. Hold them. And down again. You can't get all these muscles firing so your body stays back in better balance here relative to here. Makes you sweat too. That's the plan. That's the plan. Oh. Nothing wrong with that. Okay? Wait, and when I want you to stand up to when you stand up, can you put the weight on your heels when you stay back there? That's no, okay. That's okay. Okay. Yeah. My head's still straight, right? Yes. Okay. This allows your body, especially if you have a hip or a back injury, because when we have an injury in our hips or back, we all naturally do this to feel that we have a lower center of gravity and bounce ourselves. Problem is once that those joints get better, muscles get better, we stay here. What you have to focus on is wherever you're comfortable. I want to go back just a little bit more where you feel just a little comfortable. If we work out here, we're a little comfortable, that becomes your new posture. The further we go back, the better balance we have, the stronger we get the back and leg muscles stronger, hold our body up, have better balance, and prevent injury. Okay, Janice? Mm -hmm. I'm Dr. Tony Buck, over. I'm Janice. Just want to make sure. <laughs> I know it, but I, I see you. Okay, am I done? We're, we're done unless we want to do some more. It's up to you. Grab a seat right here for me, if that's okay. I'm going to use you in one second, okay? I'm done, so I'm going to use my, you be my Vanna White for the day. Ooh. You're so excited, I love the excitement. With all my energy. beautiful dresses, I'm here, Tony. The energy, Janice, the energy. Okay. Once we've warmed up with our upper body, okay, now I'm going to use the chair. I'm going to use the lower body too, okay? I'll demonstrate from the side. I'll have Janice demonstrate from the front in a second. Oh, we talked about a second ago with Janice and keeping our body up, correct? Where we're comfortable. If we can get out of the chair, even using our chair too, mm, let me do this. Do you mind if I use your chair? No, go. Oh. It's like. 2019 version. It's a, it's a giant chair. It's a piece. It's great. Here, if I can use a chair to start, put, I'll put the brake on. Oh, good, good. Right there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If if I can use a chair, what I want to focus on is putting my feet steady underneath me. Okay. Then pushing up slowly, just enough where I get my muscles to contract. It's enough of a push. Hold it for a second and then relax. Okay, so not even using your arms at all. There's no arms. Just for balance with the arms. Here, push up a little bit, hold it, and relax. Very, very simple. So I'll show, I'll show out here so I can see a little bit better maybe. If I'm here on the edge, I'm going to push up a little bit, hold it, and relax. I want these muscles here to fire. Uh -huh. You want them to be. I want them to fire. Okay, okay I'm going to warm them up a little bit. When I come up, use just your legs, push up a little bit, hold it, and relax. I'm moving maybe three inches. Not very much. Just enough to make these muscles contract right there. Hold it for a second and relax. Okay? If that's comfortable, if you can do hold it for a second and relax, is it possible to use the back of a chair, stand up straight, and slowly come, I'll have you in a second, I'll have Jess try to sit in this chair. Come down here, hold it for a second and relax. Using a chair for balance. Okay? I always want to make sure you're safe. I don't want any liability issues here. Okay? Hold it for a second, then come back up. I could use it for the rest. <laughs> I like that. Good one, Jeff. Good one. Okay. Coming down, hold it. And see how my body doesn't do this? I'm not doing this. Okay? I'm coming down using my leg, keep my body straight as possible. Coming down, hold it, come back up. See, for me, I can go all the way down. You don't have to. All I want is focus on your posture here, coming down, and if you need to use your hands on the, on the chair, push yourself up. Okay? So just do this, and try this and see how you feel. Let's do the chair one first. That's okay. That's okay. We can redo it right now. Okay. So grab a seat. When you push off, all I want you to do is take your hands here, leave your hands here, just for balance and use your body, push a little bit forward with these muscles contract on your, on your legs. That's it. That's as far as I want you to go. That makes them work, right? Holy cow. That's the plan. Yeah. If your quad muscles are firing, it might be quad muscles. It's your muscles from your hip to your knee. 
that whole front area. Those muscles actually contract and they work below the kneecap, that's where the muscle attaches, yeah. to making your knee stronger also. Remember, every joint in your body allows you to help you with your balance and your motion. So if these joints are working properly, that muscle's strong, that supports this hip and knee joint to make your balance improve along with your walking. So go ahead again. All right there, that's it. And come back down. That's hard to do, right? Yes. Good. But, that right, makes, but it's this. That's, that's the plan it. on both sides, right? Yeah. Oof. Are you okay? Need some water or something? You're good? <laughs> <laughs> me too, me too. What's that? You stand up now? Up. Up. Oh, yeah, like hold it, hold it. Like a real person? Like a real person. I'm going to move this forward. Okay. So now come forward here. So go always, always uh, stand up straight. Stand up straight. Now I'm going to have you do from that position is keep your hands on the chair and come straight down and come straight up. How's that feel? That's good. Good. All do you feel your back working more? Gluteus. The gluteus and yeah. back muscles too, right? All the yeah. all the glutes and all the back. So what we're doing with this exercise, making sure all of the back here, with this exercise by staying upright, you're getting the muscles here in the back, glutes and legs to fire together the yeah. whole time. All right. Ms. Janice, how does that feel? It feels good to How's it feel in the hips, okay? Oh, I can feel it, yeah. Well, good. Not, no pain. And Just do so it. What do you mean feeling? Because people understand that, too. Does it feel sore, tight, or like you're working the muscle? I feel like I'm working the muscle. And not, you, it isn't cramping. And I want people to understand is that working the muscle is still good for you, but if it's painful, you have to stop and kind of minimize what you're doing. But you have to work it. If not, your muscles get weak. Your joints get tight, yeah. and you have rigor mortis. That's not good, right? Mm -hmm. Avoid that. Right? Good. Rigor mortis. Yeah, rigor mortis. <laughs> Bad stuff. Okay. okay. Can I go? Yep, yeah, you can go. No? All right, you can go. Yes. <coughs> thank you, Janice. Oh, thank you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Little love, little love, people. Little love. Little right. love. If we can do yeah. that... Yeah. I want to focus on next thing is, let me use the stick first. Can you use your stick, Herman? Sure. Okay. Right there. To, you, to assist you first, if you need it, everyone's different, right? Now I want to focus on is how do you get your body to start walking to where you can get your body stronger when you're walking? You know, we talked about a second ago is staying up here, right? Body upright. Okay. You want to stay here. When I'm sitting here, do I want to walk this way? No, I want to, I want to walk upright at the same time. Get your back stronger, help your balance. But to start, I want you to do is, you, if you need to, use a stick or something, this one's a little separate, where your body can naturally come forward here, take a step forward, stay there for a second, then take a step back. Okay? Any stick, anything you can do to keep your body upright. Okay, so we talked about being here before, right? Now I want to do what the motion is called a, a lunge, a modified lunge. Pull something up front, take a step forward, and then take a step back. My head's here, looking straight ahead, not here. Why do you think that's important? Keep your balance. Keep your balance. If my body's here, I'm going to lose my balance, right? Okay? But sometimes people go, well, I can't see the floor. So instead of looking down with your, with your head, look down with your eyes over your nose. I'm half a so I have more of a flat nose. It's easier for me. Okay? So I'm here, looking down this way if I need to, but I want to make sure my, my, my space is open, okay? So I'm going to go left foot first. Well, I, I, before that, sorry, take a step back. I'm using something for bounce. Bring that out in front of me so I have an arm's length out there. Okay? You may want to start shorter to get comfortable. Take a step, head up, pause, then come backwards. Switch legs. You may have one leg that has better balance than others. Great, something to work on. By doing this, you're sending nerves from your feet through your body to your brain to recalibrate your balance here instead of here. Motion helps you calibrate your balance wherever you are. Okay? If I'm comfortable here, again, step, stop. Then come backwards. Look at my feet too. With my feet, what I'm doing, show you from over here, is what I'm doing take a step. I come forward, bring the other foot up so I'm on my toes. Heel comes up, pause, 
I'm going to roll that back foot back as my feet together again. Okay, so this side again too. Come forward. My, my front foot goes flat. My back foot rolls forward, so I'm on my toes. Pause for a second. We might keep my back heel down. We might keep it together again. Okay? Why do you think the pause is important? Your muscles are doing something different. They need to get back to where they started from. Exactly. And when they do that, you get your balance, you throw your balance off a little bit, so your body goes, I attach myself. When you work on your balance, you're going to feel a little bit off. Not mentally, but physically. Mm -hmm. Okay? When you have that, that's your body recalibrating. You got, you got the joke good. Go make sure you got the joke. That point, uh, at that point, you're going to feel a bit off balance. That's your body learning and training a better balance. Okay? I want you to feel a little bit off so you don't feel, because if it's too easy, you're not training anything. Okay? So again, if I'm doing that here, I can take a little step forward, right? But can I have a different spot on the floor carpet where I can go even further here? On my toe again, then come back. Okay, can I go a little bit further once you feel comfortable? Here, then come back. Okay, that's when it makes you reach, pause, throws your balance off a little bit, then come back. You may want to use, use the wall if you need to, to start this off. Okay, after you've done that, you put away Reverend Herman's stick. Can you stand up steady, either something on the side next to you if you need to, and then take a step forward, pause, and then come back. So I would use a wall if you need to, maybe something like this, where I can go here, take a step forward, pause, and come back. Okay? When you go even further out, you'll come further out, go on your toe if you need to. And then roll that back foot backwards, so you end up feet next to each other again. But the pause is important. People do this all day long, right? That's how you walk. But if you walk slowly, you have to catch yourself. Catch yourself. Catch yourself. That throws off your balance a little bit. That's how you train your body. Any questions about that? Okay. If you're comfortable, either standing or sitting, I'll just stick again. Can we okay on film? Yeah, we're looking good. Well, I'll make sure. Now, can I do this to where if I start up front, and now can I take a step backwards, that back foot, now I'll roll the back foot, end up with my front foot my, on my heel, pause, then come forward. Bring that front foot, bring that feet next to the other again. Okay, again, switch sides. So I bring my left foot back, go up on my toe of my left foot, and roll backwards. So my back foot is flat, my front foot is on my toe. Hold that for a second, then come back again. You know, on the wall, if you want to use the wall, same thing. It's about instead of the stick here, so what you can do is starting in front, back foot, take a step backwards, wherever you're comfortable, go up on that back toe, roll that back foot backwards, so you the front foot's going to be on the heel. Hold it for a second. Keep your head up the whole time, then roll forward. Again, once you bring that front, the other foot forward, next to each other, up, up, opposite foot, up on the toe, bring that back foot flat, front toe up, relax, and then bring that forward again too. Any questions about that? Okay. Next one, a little bit more difficult. I'll just walk forward and backwards, right? This is how you normally walk, right, or dance, or whatever it is, tango. Or, or fox trot, whatever it is. Okay. Now, can we do something on the sideways? We do this here. Take a step. Wait for a second. And bring the other foot next to each other. Take a step to the side. Second, and bring the other foot next to each other. And go both ways. By working the side muscles, those are your helpers. When you take a step, your hip doesn't pop out. Okay. These called your ITB bands. TFL Pendulata for one, two, allows it to stay stable the whole time. So, so what I want to do is start with a stick if you need to. Something for balance. Here, going side to side. Here, take a step. Wait for a second, then come forward. See, also my feet too. My feet don't do this. 
My feet stay straight the whole time. My feet don't turn in or out. Okay? That allows your knee to stay strong. When you walk with your foot out, that causes knee pressure, your hips to tighten up in the back of the hips, so you lean more forward. So Jazz, you want to focus on when you do this, bring your foot out, hold it for a second, other foot next to each other. Okay, seems easy, right? Okay. <laughs> so you want to do next, again, if you can use either use a stick against the wall too, next to the wall, take a step out where you're comfortable, other foot next to each other. Okay, as you get more comfortable, at that point go further out, and then come bring other foot back next to each other. Okay, you want to make sure you're working enough distance between that your muscles feel like you're being strained a little bit. Like Dan said, mentioned, you want to feel like you're working the muscles, but not soreness. Okay, once you've gone one way, maybe two or three steps, at that point, switch sides. So I, for me, I'm going to use a tape. I'm going to turn around here, take a step, head up, relax, next step. Step, relax. So you want to go both ways all the time to work both muscles. Okay, any questions so far? Nothing? Jazz, any questions? Does that, does that feel comfortable? I have three inches less on this leg. Perfect. So it's... So you have to be able to keep your body up the whole time? Yeah. So when you have that hip imbalance and then inequality because of the leg length issue, yeah. that's when you want to make your muscle ache. Because what happens if you're going to want to compensate, you're going to end up here the whole time. Yeah. You want to keep your body back and your body's back allows you to make that balance better. You're going to take your time. That's all it is. Here, step, back in. Okay? I'm going to excuse myself. Not a problem. So I have do your thing. Do your thing. I'm going to have... This video, will be, this video will be up later also. There will be access to it eventually. You can watch it again too. And enjoy the entertainment and the education. Both of it hopefully. Okay. Me, Not a problem. Do your thing. Do your thing. Next one is, now can we cross over a little bit when we walk? Okay. So let's we'll just back it up first. When I, when I walk, and I'm walking with a walker or just by myself, can I walk in a line where I go heel to toe, my head up? Okay? Is that possible? Okay? Heel to toe. Head up to work. Before, right? When we're walking to go forward, roll your foot and come backwards. Now I'm going to walk heel to toe on a line. Carpet, whatever you want to use as a line. Okay? If you can walk heel to toe in that area for balance, that keeps your body minimal center of gravity. Keeps your body, makes the body, the side muscles now work harder. Your body has to be able to maintain that balance. <coughs> good, good, Janice. Okay. Next, we want to do good. You beat you me to the punch, Janice. Now, I want to do is have you walk backwards, head up again. You use a walk if you need to. Heel to toe. Again, pause. Pause when you go heel to toe. Roll that foot backwards, heel to toe. Okay. If you need to, also with this. Use the wall if you need to, to start. Going forward first, heel to toe. Three or four steps, keep your body and head up. Other way too, you always want to do both sides. Heel to toe if you need to. In that position, then you want to start going backwards, rolling the foot backwards again. Pause, pause in between every time you take a step. Head up the whole time is the key. Okay, we're going backwards. Do we have eyes behind your head? Like my mom did, I think my mom had eyes. My mom's did. I have eyes, but I've lost them. Me, my, oh, my, my mom did, I think, too. But because we don't have eyes behind our most of us don't have eyes behind our head, you have to use your feet to make sure we maintain our balance, our position. That tells us where to go. By right, keeping our body up, it means that balance right through just the feet, not the actual whole body. And again, we will toe backwards. Okay? After we've done that, we've gone from now wide feet walking, backwards and forwards, heel to toe walking. Now I want to see, can we cross over our feet a little bit to where we come across our body with the foot, and then from there, come back again. Okay, so if I'm going to do this, I can use either a stick or the wall. i do the stick first. Okay, now can I test my balance by causing a twist? Okay, when I bring my foot over across my, when I bring my right foot 
behind, to the side of my left foot, the outside of my left foot, that makes my hips twist a little bit, relax for a second, take a break, and then bring the foot back to normal to its starting position. Okay? And then switch sides, left foot to the outside of the right foot. So, so when you do that switch, make sure that left foot, when you switch over, all the weight goes to the left foot so your body will shift a little bit. Okay? So left foot over the, to the outside of the right foot, bring that foot back over to, to its starting position, and again, the right foot outside the left foot, shift that weight over to your right foot so your body will shift to the left, and then back again. And one more time, let's bring that left foot outside of the right foot, shift the weight of your body over the right foot, let it relax, and then go back to neutral again. Okay. Any questions about that? I like the silence. <laughs> yes. Good. Because you feel, where do you feel that when you guys when you go to the side? It's my hip. Good. Well, it's, fantastic. It's really, really working the hip. That's the plan. You're causing more shit, you cause weight on that side. Yeah. That's what you want to see. Yeah. Okay. This, I brought the tape and tape on the floor so you can, so at home, or wherever you're <coughs> going to practice, make sure you have markers how far you're going. Okay. Sometimes you may be comfortable to the first marker. Okay. As you get better, you want to make sure you test yourself or make sure you're working. If you're comfortable here, that's all you're doing. You're not going to really work the muscle more, the joint more to improve your balance. You want to go further out if you can, more and more over time, to your body get that better balance as you keep your head up. Just pause and come back again too. Okay? Any questions at all? But that's the plan. You can gain your balance better by working these exercises over time. And again, daily, daily you do them, not just once a week. That's the plan. Upper body first. We'll let me review them real quick so you have that. I'll just do them standing to make it easier. Upper body first. We did these. Here, right? Five to ten times. Elbows out. All the way. Once you've done these, I'm going to come here and then come out, working the back muscles of your shoulders. So external rotation of the shoulders. Bring the hands, start just in front, more of an L with your arm. And bring them out, bring your hands out to the side of you, make those back muscles work a little bit more. Okay? Again, head up the whole time. Don't do this, they'll look weird. It'll make fun of you. Okay? So from the side again, too, here, head up, hands come out to the side, keep your elbows tucked in, hold for a second, and come back in. Last one, upper body is going to be this one. Hands to your sides relaxed. Bring your hands a uh, lot of the side, keep your arms straight the whole time. Up in front of you a little bit, and then down together. And make sure the back here, you pinch your shoulder blades together the whole time. Pinch shoulder blades together as you come up. Keep that muscles tight and relax, tight and pressure on there too. And relax, like Brian mentioned, there's going to be pressure in the back of your neck. That's a good thing. That's how you're working the muscle. Hold it for a second again, and come back down. Okay? Once you've done the upper body part, you want to make sure you work the lower body balance too. Talk about with Janice, who is going from a seated to a standing position. First of all, was going to be this one, right? So kind of give you a workout routine to start doing at home slowly. Okay, so from here, we're not going to stand up all. We're going to sit down first, using a chair for balance in front. Again, the, the, the really lower body is going to be the goal is going to be how do you make the body stay straight the whole time, right? That's how we get a better balance. So from here, we're going to come down and just get your body to relax a little bit. Knees to contract and relax. Just lift up our, our, uh, our glutes off the chair for a second. Relax the gentle dimension to make your muscles work hard. If your quad muscles and your knee muscles sometimes tighten up a little bit. Okay, so we'll come up, hold for a second, and relax. Once you've done that three to four times, we're going to stand up all the way here, and then slowly, wherever you're comfortable, using the chair for balance. Come down a little bit, hold it. And come back up. Again, the goal is to make sure we stay straight though. Okay, so up here, down, push the knees forward, body stays straight for a little minor squat. Hold it and come back up. You don't want to bounce, want to come down slowly. Hold. Good. All the way up. Okay. Any questions about those? Now motion. Again, motion allows your body to maintain the regain and train your balance. We started with a stick, I'll hold off on the stick. Coming forward first. Again, good posture always in these exercises. 
Step forward, roll the foot, back foot, and then step backwards. Can we take a step forward? Just a step forward. That back foot will roll up on the toe as you bring the right, as the front foot stays flat, body comes back again. Okay, one more time. Left foot comes forward, right toe comes up on the on the toe on the right hand side. Roll the back, roll the back foot back to get back to starting position. Okay. What was the next one? The the the, the thing. Good, that one, right? Yeah. So well, before we did before we did that though too, we did also this one was gonna be the uh only, if we went forward, right? Yeah. Okay, so we can go then we can go backwards also. I forgot about that one. Mm -hmm. Go take a step back with one foot. So when you take a step back, make sure the back foot go on the toe first, pull the back foot backwards so it goes flat, the front foot, the front foot will go on your heel. Okay? Come forward again to the normal position for one, two, switch sides. Again, we take a step backwards, make that, that back foot toe come up first, pull the back foot backwards, go up on your front toe if you need to, and come back forward again. Okay? Next one is walking the line, correct? Okay? Walk the line next. You want to go heel to toe, keeping the head up the whole time. So, so decide to grab your line if you need to, or put down blue tape up like I did. Go forward, take heel to toe, pause in between, take a step, pause, your muscles work for balance. Pause, three to four steps forward. Once you've done that, feel comfortable. Now go backwards three to four times. Take a step back, pause, take a step back, pause. Again, use the wall if you need to. Or a chair, even also. Okay, any questions so far? Last one, guys, yeah, is the crossover, right? Okay, so crossover again is going to be a little more difficult, so you may want to use a chair or a stick or a wall for balance if you need to. Okay, so here, if I'm standing up straight again, bring my right foot over my left, so my right foot ends up on the outside of my left, shift my weight to my right foot left side, pause for a second, and then bring that right foot back to neutral again, too. Center again. Okay? Then left foot here over the right foot. Left foot ends up outside of the left outside of the right foot. Shift your weight over to the right foot, right side of your body. Left, I'm sorry, left foot, right side of your body. Pause. And then go back to neutral again too. Okay. Any questions at all? We work the upper body and lower body together. Okay. Your posture, your balance points come from nerves that have had high density, a lot, a lot of them, from your neck, from your hips, and from your feet. The work with all those muscles in between, your body maintains balance and strength. You're going to go take a nap like Janice will in a minute because she's exhausted from all these exercises. Because <laughs> you did them though, right? Yeah, but I did them. Yeah. It helps. Yeah. You're going to be able to make a little sore in the legs and the knees and the hips. Congratulations, you got to do the workout. <laughs> you want to feel that benefit. Okay, if you're not sore, it might be a sore as like where you feel the muscles feel a little bit tight. You didn't do enough. As we get older, sometimes you think, I can't do that now, but I can't, I can't work out that hard. The thing is, your body gets weaker because of that. We have to push more than sometimes we think we're stronger than we think. So if you push more, our body gets stronger, that's your new level, that's your new normal. Once you get there, you can do a little bit more and find a higher range of what we're used to. At that point, our body long term stays relaxed hormonally, chemically, and neurologically. When the body stays relaxed, when we're strong, we tolerate more stress, physically and mentally. It's scientifically proven. It's not, I'm just making it up. We tolerate more stress by doing that. When we tolerate more stress, we have less chance of injury. So why not do this for your own health again every day? All right. Any questions at all? Thank you for your time. I'll see you guys no, next thank month. Thank you. Want me to leave the tape, or you want me to take the tape off? Uh, for that help, or? You feel like you're in charge. I'll take it off. If you have one, you have it. Still here. Good, Herbert. Pause it up.